What's the matter with your stereo? I don't know. What's the matter with your stereo? <laughs> I traded it to Lomez for some steaks. They're trying to fix it. It keeps coming back the same. Would you be interested in a refund? Well, I, I can't get a refund. The warranty expired two years ago. Yeah, yeah. Would you be interested? Well, how no, you no, gonna... No. Would you? I guess I would. Yeah, yeah. Seinfeld. Yeah. Got a package for you. Sign here. Yeah, who's it from? No return address. What if I don't want it? Are you refusing delivery? Maybe I am. Why would you do that? I've never done it before. Why start now? Why not? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why'd you refuse that? Everybody loves a package. I don't know. It was weird. Crazy printing. I don't know who it's from. So what do you think? It's a bomb? It's not totally impossible. Oh, the ego on you. Why can't I be bombable? Who's gonna bomb you? An airline for all the stupid little peanut jokes? Oh, I suppose you think you're bombable. Hey, there's a couple of people who wouldn't mind having me out of the way. Yeah, there's more than a couple. Hey, Daddy! Hello! How are you? Hey, Leo. Hey, what's with your nephew? He wouldn't accept the package. Oh, he wants it. He's just trying to be funny. Yeah, I'll sign it. Get up. Jerry, it's your Uncle Leo. Hello. Hello, Leo. You don't have to yell. I got your package. How did you get my package? Leo's got your package? What should I do with it? I don't know what you should do with it. Tell him to open it. I'm not going to treat my uncle like a bomb defusing robot. <laughs> Jerry, your cousin Jeffrey's in a parks department production of the Mercado. I want you to come see it with me. Open the package, Leo. <laughs> okay. Opening! So it wasn't a bomb? No. No bomb. Well, then what? Oh, stupid Leo. He was using one of those oven cleaners. Yeah. He left the canister in there. The pilot light was on. The whole thing blew up. But he's okay? Yeah, but the explosion singed off his eyebrows, mustache, everything. He's all smooth now. Looks like a seal. Yeah. Is this my stereo? Oh, hey, you got it. Hey, what happened to my stereo? It's all smashed up. That's right. Now, it looks like it was broken during shipping, and I insured it for $400. But you were supposed to get me a refund. You can't get a refund. Your warranty expired two years ago. So we're going to make the post office pay for my new stereo now? It's a write-off for them. How is it a write-off? They just write it off. <laughs> write it off what? Jerry, all these big companies, they write off everything. You don't even know what a write-off is. Do you? No, I don't. <laughs> but they do. And they're the ones writing it off. I don't like this, Kramer. Will it be much longer? I'm sorry, it looks like the claim has been red flagged. You're under investigation. Investigation? Hello, Jerry. <laughs> Hello, Newman. Grandma? You, uh, might as well run along. Jerry may be a while. Suspicion of mail fraud. Mail fraud? You're in a lot of trouble, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Then let me ask you this. Don't you find it interesting? that your friend had the foresight to purchase postal insurance for your stereo? Huh? I mean, parcels are rarely damaged during shipping. Define rarely. Frequently. <laughs> are we about through here, Newman? It's pretty hot under these lights, huh, Seinfeld? Pretty hot. Actually, I'm quite comfortable. I have a sip. No. Not gonna play ball, huh? I'll admit it! The, the stereo was already busted! You can't prove anything. Is this or is this not your signature? No, as a matter of fact, it isn't. <laughs> Uncle Leo. <laughs> this case is closed pending further evidence.
Jerry.